Hello everyone. So uh, when discussing and talking about possible concerns that others might have with our implementation and we have come up with a few of those. Uh, first would be the concern for a lack of clean water um, to use and to wash their bodies and their foods with. Um, so not only teaching them about it but um, knowing that there is an overall lack of that clean water. Um, and it is known that as of right now, 87% of Ugandans don't have access to improved sanitation facilities. Um, but access to um, these financial services in Uganda have improved significantly over the last decade. So with more financial services being opened, there might be an improvement um, in access to water. Um, and it's mostly driven by the expansion in mobile money services. So this development primed the market for expansion of microfinance um, and the, their services to a larger share of the population. So in addition, Uganda has a robust private sector with many banks now moving to include clients living at the base of the economic pyramid. Um, so we believe that these improvements to the economy may go hand in hand with carrying out the, the intervention um, that can bring awareness to SCH um, transmission. And so another concern that people might have with this intervention and the implementation of it um, might be like finances for how we're going to fund the implementation and so as touched upon a little earlier in this video um, this is a program that is strictly volunteer and that outside of just traveling to Uganda to help there wouldn't be any further costs or expenditures um, and then lastly um, there would be a lack of knowing how to reach out and how to communicate with these individuals and Usually when you go to a foreign country, you think there might be a language barrier, but luckily for Uganda, English is very prevalent, and being able to reach out to officials and uh, other help um, clinics or providers would be fairly easy because of their base in the English language. So. Throughout the semester, we have identified four areas containing potential barriers to our health education program. Therefore, I will discuss how to overcome those barriers. 1. Lack of access to clean water. Poor hygiene and inadequate access to clean water made the poor vulnerable to STH infections. International organizations such as Uganda Village Project donate and install wells in rural areas. However, even when people have access to water from a well, there are risks of contamination due to different factors such as lack of sanitation and education. Many people believe that as long as they are getting water from a well, it is clean water. Oftentimes, they put quantity over quality. Therefore, our health education program will teach children how to keep water sources clean and free of contamination, the importance of collecting water from, from clean water sources, even if it means to walk a longer distance. Also, we will teach them about the danger of infections and diseases contracted by drinking contaminated water. 2. Inadequate sanitation. STH infections are transmitted by eggs that are passed in the feces of infected people. Therefore, without proper sanitation infrastructure, will be very hard to decrease the number of people infected with soil transmitted helmings. In places with high rates of STH infections, people do not have access to latrines or the number of latrines in the village do not satisfy people's needs. Uganda Village Project is dedicated to increase latrines coverage in rural areas. However, 
Toilets are not enough if there is no hygiene promotion to get whole communities to change the habit of generations and use the toilets. Our health education program will complement the project by educating people and providing information on how to avoid contamination and infections by using latrines and avoiding the use of untreated human feces as fertilizers. Number three, unwillingness to take the warming drugs. There are studies showing that the main barrier to seeking STH treatment is not availability or cost of the drugs, but rather the lack of motivation to seek for the drugs. A study made in Africa found that many members of rural areas believe that STH are critical to one's health. For example, some people said that worms are essential for proper digestion. Other people said that the warming medication, medications interfere with people's fertility. We will form teams of high school and university students to educate parents about the health benefits of the warming programs, answer questions and clear up any misconception regarding the warming medications. Each team will work in one neighborhood of the village, going house to house, educating parents. Four, misconceptions about transmission. Many times, people are not aware that soil transmitted helminth infections can be prevented by doing simple things such as washing their hands. We are going to install tippy taps near latrines at the schools to encourage children to adopt good personal hygiene habits, such as washing their hands. Tippy taps are simple devices for hand washing. This was our presentation. Thank you for watching.